Hey everyone, in today's YouTube video, I wanna show you how to create a YouTube channel banner completely from scratch, all on your phone. And it works for iPhone and Android because we're gonna use the same app. Last week, I made a video showing you this entire process on the computer, and a few people reached out and asked me to do a mobile-only version for this. Now, the first thing we need to do is we need to get the app, or you could click the link in the description and sign up on the website, and then use the app to just log in with your username and password and it's called Canva. Again, click the link, get the app from there. And what Canva is, it's a graphic creation platform. And this is it, this is the logo for it. And let me go ahead and open it up here. And I've already logged into mine. So if you haven't logged in, go ahead and log in because if you log in, it saves your design. And that's really, really useful. I also have a link to a paid version of Canva that just gives you a ton of different assets here, like different photos and templates that you won't have with the free one, but this video is gonna cover the free version with this free account here. And all I have to do with Canva once I have it opened is I need to type in channel banner. So YouTube channel banner or channel banner here, and that should get you some examples of channel banners. And it already knows the size that YouTube wants you to make this at. So you don't have to even know the size. And here you could scroll through and see all these different templates. And you see right here, it says free. A lot of them are free. If you don't see this free option, that means it's part of Canva Pro, but a lot of them are going to be free. And then once you like one that's close to what you wanna start with, you could obviously change anything you see over here. But I always recommend people without design skills start with one of these templates. And here, we'll choose a simple one. And if you look at these templates, you see they're very simple, right? You don't wanna really clutter your YouTube uh, channel banner here. Basically, when someone lands your, on your channel, this is basically the front of your store, right? You want it to be simple, easy to understand, and clean. So if you choose one of them, it just opens up the template for you. And if you've never used the Canva mobile app, it may be a little bit intimidating. I do have a complete tutorial on Canva mobile app as well, but I really wanna show you as much as I can here. If you tap this right here, any of these elements, like here's a text element, here's the background element, here is, or here's the background element, that was just a shape here, and there's another shape, there's another shape. These are all different elements, basically, and as you select any of them, like if I select the text, this on the bottom changes to let me do edits to whatever I selected. Okay, so I usually will select the background here, and then you could see right here, it gave me the background option. It's letting me change the color. So you could see, I could easily change the color. I usually stick with whatever color the template is just so I already go with the design of a professional designer. But it's very, very easy, like that one doesn't look too bad. And you could leave it like that. Now if you click away, that change has been applied. You could also replace the background entirely. So if you go to the Photos tab here, you could see you could make any of these your background. And you could search anything on top over here for specific things. So if you know what you want, let's say you want a tree for example, press search, and it's gonna give you examples like this. And as I mentioned, this Pro icon means it's part of Canva Pro. The ones that are not, that don't have this, like this one is free. So just like that, I replaced the background instead of a solid color. Anytime you don't like that something that you did, just press this arrow to go back. So I'm back to where I started from. Now, what about changing text? Same thing, select this. And then on the bottom, it lets you change the type, the color, and you have all these options here. But first, I wanna edit the text, right? Because you wanna put your channel name here, not whatever the template says. So my channel's name will go over here. And the same thing, you will select the one underneath it, and then you could change that. Let's say you don't want anything underneath, you could just press the trash can and delete it. So it'll just be as simple as my channel. It looks now too plain, so I'm gonna go back one step and bring that back. And when you're done editing it too, go ahead and change the color if you wanna change the color to something else, right? So typically change the background color or the picture, then come on top and change the text. And then let's say you want some other things, maybe this is not enough. You could press the plus sign right here 
and add anything else you want, right? You could add another photo. Maybe you have a photo of yourself, which I do because I went to the upload tab and uploaded my own. So you could press this and upload from your photo library or take a picture. Now I've already done that. So this is it right here. I'm going to go ahead and select it and you could shrink this down and put it somewhere within your design. Now it doesn't quite fit this design, but let's say if I wanted to put it maybe over here and maybe move the text over, I could just click and design it this way, right? So pretty straightforward here. Let's say this is what I wanted to go with, okay? And so the plus sign lets you bring in photos. It lets you bring in text. So if you wanted to add another box of text instead of editing the existing one, you could bring elements. Audio and video don't make sense because this is going to be a picture here. So if you wanted to add the YouTube logo, you could look up YouTube up here in the search box and then have that shape as part of your design. Now, as far as the design goes, by the way, only the center section in the middle is going to show up in all devices. The part on top and bottom actually only show up on TV, but it's always designed this way. And I definitely recommend that you put as much as you can just on the center section right here. Okay, I'm going to actually delete this one and move the channel banner back. Okay, so make sure anything that you want to be 100% viewable on mobile and other apps show up right in the middle here. This, this big box here is 16 by 9 for TV. When you're happy with your design, and again, make sure you start with the templates and just make some minor changes, including text changes and maybe adding some elements and changing some colors, not much more than that. All you have to do is press this download option right here and it's going to save that image right into your phone, right? So now it's done and I could go back to the home page and then start another design or I could go to my design tab if I want to come back to that design and pick it back up and make additional edits to it. So automatically saved it and I could press these three down arrows here and make a copy of it so I could actually work on the copy if I want to keep the original edit that I made to it. So now that the photo is saved to our phone, how do we add it as our channel banner? How do we update our channel banner on YouTube? Well, sadly on the phone, you have to use a browser to do this. So you have to go to youtube.com, the mobile app and YouTube Creator Studio for some reason don't let you change the banner. They just let you change your profile picture, but not the banner. Let me show you how to do it though. So on youtube.com, I'm just using a, a mobile browser here. So Safari on my phone. I just went to youtube.com and press your profile picture or the profile person here and press sign in and then sign into your YouTube account. Okay, I just signed in off camera here. And if it asks you to open the mobile app, just say cancel. Don't open the mobile app. We need to land on this. And here, if you press the profile picture on this page here, Go to desktop. We need the desktop view on here. So we're going to cancel that again. This is the desktop view, right? This is what YouTube looks like on the desktop. Now here we could actually now press our profile picture here. Let me just zoom in a little bit. And then we want to go to channel customization, which is under my channel tab. And then here, let me go over here. There is this option right here. Customize channel. Continue. Okay, finally, we are on this page. If I zoom in, there's a branding option right here. This lets you change your profile picture. This one you can do on the mobile app. This one is the banner image, the channel banner. You go ahead and change that here. So press change right here. If you press change, it says pick your picture. I'm going to choose photo library. Choose the picture from my photo library here press choose and it's going to let me actually go ahead and zoom out a little bit, put this section anywhere I want. Now, this is what I was mentioning before. The whole thing shows up on TV, but only the middle section shows up on all devices here. And this shows up on the computer. So that's why it's important to put everything in your design right in the middle right here and then just press done. In this case, I'm already happy with the channel banner for this channel. So I'm going to leave it, but that's all you have to do. Remove this one or change this one. And then make sure you come all the way up here and press publish because it won't automatically update your channel banner until you press publish and then it will update your banner. 
So that's how you design a channel banner from scratch on your phone and then upload it to your YouTube channel. I hope you found it useful. I post easy to follow YouTube tutorials and other tech videos on this channel every single day. So consider subscribing and I hope to see you next time.